Check out how we built this DIY potting bench with hidden storage. This is a perfect potting solution for outdoors. Morgan loves plants and propagating and moving plants around, so this was a great option. Plus, we designed it with hidden storage that you can store your different materials. This project was made possible thanks to Waterlocks because it was going to be outdoors. We needed to use their marine sealer and finish. Can't wait to tell you about those in a little bit. Stay tuned. We started the project by cutting all of the boards. All of the cuts and cut lists are in our PDF plans available on our site. The entire project was made by 1x4s cut to different lengths. As you know, we try to make all of our projects as easy to replicate as possible. So I love it when we can use just a single style of board, in this case 1x4s for the entire project. Once all the boards were cut, we drilled all of our pocket holes. For the entire frame, everything is put together with pocket hole joinery and wood glue. This will keep it stable and secure, especially since it's going to be holding quite a bit of weight. We also use nails later on in the process, but for the structure itself, everything is pocket hole joinery. Now that we finally got everything cut, drilled, sanded, it was time to put it together. We put together the front panel and the back panel individually. There's a single stretcher along the back and front that spans along the bottom that raises it up four inches. The top gets two aprons because we wanted to cover up those plastic storage bins that are hanging down later. For this, again, we used wood glue and pocket screws in each of the pieces. Again, this is going to be holding quite a bit of weight with pots and soil and rocks, so we wanted to make sure it was extra secure. Once the front and back parts were together, we added the side support beams. Again, we did a double apron on the sides at the top and a single apron down at the bottom. Everything was squared up and lined up and level. We used wood glue and pocket holes again here and put these aprons, the double apron on the top and the single apron on the bottom. With the side supports in place on the front, we attached it to the back with glue and pocket holes and placed it right down, lined it up and screwed everything in place. This serves as the entire frame. This is a very secure piece with everything lined up and ready to go. With the main structure built, now we can do the bottom and the top. We did slats on the bottom because this is intended to be used for pot storage. Since pots are typically dirty and wet, this is a good place for drainage to go between the slats. We started by nailing in one slat on the far left and far right of the bench, then used a spacer piece of wood to get all of the other boards in place at an equal spacing across the bottom. This made it very easy to simply and quickly attach all of the slats. With the structure built and in place, it was time to make the little strips that were going to hold up the storage bins. These were three quarter by three quarter inch strips. Ignore the extremely pained look on my face. I don't know what that's all about. These strips were put in place with wood glue and nails along the front and back inside aprons of the bench. We also did these strips for the countertop portion. The countertops are three individual sections made up of five 1x4 strips. Then we attached these little 3 quarter inch strips with wood glue and nails to connect them all together. We made three different sections and we'll see why in a little bit, but that's so that you can get to each of the individual storage bins individually. It makes it a lot easier, so if you need dirt you can just lift up one section. If you need rocks you can lift up another section. Once those pieces were put together, we dropped in some of those plastic bins and put in the countertop pieces. As you can see, they fit in nicely together and they line up and don't slide off the front or the back. All right. All right, so here is how the bench looked after it was completely assembled. Now it was time to put on our water locks. This is a great product for finishing and sealing up wood projects that go outside, especially in this case because we're using their marine sealant formula. Waterlocks has a lot of products that are perfect for woodworking. They're easy to apply, maintain, and restore, and they penetrate deep into the wood fibers to lock out water. They have interior and exterior applications, and it really enhances the wood grain and really makes your project usable for a long time. Since this project is going to be outdoors, we needed to use an outdoor exterior sealant formula. We use their marine formula, which is perfect for any project that's going to be outdoors. It has a protective and elastic finish against sun and UV rays, harsh weather, and moisture exposure. It's a two-step process. You add the marine sealer first, which locks in the wood and keeps it safe. Then you put on the finish. The finish also adds a nice golden exterior finish to your project. 
These two products combined are going to protect our potting bench when it's outside getting rained on and getting sun exposure and having dirt all over it. As you can see, here's the finished product. It looks great. We absolutely love the color that the water locks adds to it. And this is exactly what Morgan wanted for her potting bench. There's so many different storage options for pots on the bottom and different applications inside. Right now we're using one bin for drainage pebbles and another bin for soil. The modular system allows you to take off one of the top sections and still have two top sections to work with at any given time. Take one off, get your rocks, take another off and get your soil. Then right now we have tools and gloves stored in the third one. We'll see how that works out long term, but this is a great option and gives you a great surface for being able to work on all of your plants. Again, thanks to Waterlocks for this. It makes this project possible. To get the full plans for this, visit charlestoncrafted.com.